Little black book. You know what time it is. Time it is. Time it is. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blackbird number one. Little Blackbird, you know what time it is. Uh, talking to you guys about couples retreat. We're starting with uh, season three, episode two. I missed that episode one. I got a bit of background in it, but I, I missed it. We're going to break down episode two, and we're going to be dealing with Shamari and Ron in this particular breakdown. Listen, if you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor: like it, share, subscribe, click on that fabulous bell button, baby. Don't miss it. That bell button, okay? Uh, and get ready for the uploads in the coming hours, days, weeks, and months, baby. Today we're talking about gender roles because that was what was kind of pushed across on this particular episode. We got to see Ron and Shamari in the very beginning. We saw how their situation played out. You know, we saw how, uh, you know, with Ron, how, uh, you know, he felt like she was he was being gaslit, like she wasn't listening, He was she wasn't being really actively listening. And we've, we heard her in the very beginning as well too say, hey, you're not listening to me either. You're not hearing me either. And so there was a back and forth between the both of them, which happened at the very beginning. But I think that's not really what the most interesting thing was. I think what Tony Gaskins kind of said to him when it when when Ron wanted to let us know that the sex in the house hasn't been the same, baby. OK. Um, and, and, and it gets like that sometimes in relationships and in marriages where you're in the relationship for so long, the sex can be something that begins to take a back burner and a back seat because it takes time, effort, energy, and, and honestly, it takes energy, okay? Just, just for y'all who know, it takes energy. That that serotonin be kicking in and you be feeling tired, you don't want to do nothing else, okay? Um, and they've got kids now, so, you know, it is, it is, it, there has to be motivation to want to do it. And so, uh, what Tony Gaskins kind of said to, to Ron, which was beautiful, he said, hey, look, you got to pour into your wife. Now, I think what what needed to be expl- what needs to be ex- expounded upon is that, and I think Tony kind of said it, but let's expound upon it a little bit more. Which is that in a relationship, for women as time goes on, they need more input, right? They need more motivation, and this is both women and men, by the way. But they need more motivation comes when people decide to input to get a different output. When you start a relationship at the very beginning, as he described, they were here, bunnies, rabbit insects and everything like that. The motivation to throw it down is much different than when it is when you're 10 years in. And the reason being is because as time goes along, things begin to wane and things aren't the same freshness, newness um, and flavor that you had in the very beginning. And so you almost got to re-salt, re-flavor, um, shake, them, shake them and salt them all over again to really get the flavor into the relationship and the fire going once more a bit like a barbecue you know you you the barbecue you've got to keep on fanning the flames uh paul says that in the bible too as a young as your young uh, you got a young gift and i think it's timothy fan the flames okay don't let your gift wane fan those flames okay which means putting some effort and input into it and so what tony gaskins was explaining was that to him hey look you may want to get an output bring an input the output is that you want the sex and maybe what you need to be doing is throughout the course of the days letting her know listen baby i love you i appreciate you you're sexy to me you know what can i do to make your day a little bit easier you know and it takes two to tango because she needs to be very much aware of his inputs and he needs to be aware of putting in input so that she can so he can get an output now that doesn't mean to do it manipulative like i'm going to do it so you can do it but it's more of a case of let's pay attention now to one another what are the triggers that are going to get us to feel motivated to want to have the i want to have a little bit of sex with you baby you know what i mean What's going to make you want to say, all night long, all night, all night long? You know, what's going to make you say that, you know? Yeah? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you you, you need that, you know? It's four in the morning. You know what I mean? You need, so what? what's going to get you to that stage? And so that's where Tony Gaskin's advice really was beautiful okay it's like that that input needs to come in so that people become more aware um so that so that she becomes more so that she feels more fulfilled and that gives her the more impetus to want to go and do it a bit like fill up in a car and fill up with petrol okay now what's interesting is the highlights of that the fact that shamari can be stubborn and ron's communication can be a form of shouting and that can be causing her to shut down uh, when he begins to communicate in that way about his frustrations, but also be very clear, Shamari is stubborn. Okay, she's stubborn, baby, and she be asking us if she doesn't know what the heck is going on. Baby, you're not gonna feign the ignorance around me. 
Okay. All right. So both of them have issues when it comes to getting across their point. And the reality is both of them have valid points and valid needs that need to be addressed by the other party. And actively, they don't both listen. So she's accusing him of not actively listen. He then accuses her of not actively listen. They both are not actively listening at this point because what's happening is that they're missing one another because they're both trying to get their way. And they, all, and they both feel like their issue is greater than the other person's. So you got to hear me. Okay. Now, I think the biggest issue we can talk about here is the gender roles aspect of this dynamic. And I want to spend a little bit of time here because I think this is really key to what we're seeing in 2023. Gender roles have been set by the sex for a very long time. And the reason being is because we've kept women in the dark when it comes to education, um, applying for jobs, uh, uh, allowing her, allowing a woman to own property within the Western Hemisphere. And what we're seeing now within the culture and the history of, of our society in the Western Hemisphere, i.e. Europe um, and, and, and America, Northern America, is that we're seeing that as women become more educated, they accrue more power. Now, this is very scary for a lot of men because, you know what, the, they, they're used to being in a position of privilege, which comes with power, which comes with, with a level of authority. But your authority gets challenged when someone believes they are educated, have knowledge, have wisdom, have understanding enough to say, I don't agree. And this can make people feel uneasy. Gender roles are about not necessarily women being silent, but at conforming to what society says is male and female or man and woman. And in and, and some cases, we all follow, uh, we all follow um, the, the gender roles in some aspect. Women love a man that can provide, protect and be a priest of his home. And men love women that are cooperative, that are sexy um, and that are willing to follow their lead. Um, uh, so th 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 that doesn't ch those have parts haven't necessarily changed their foundational issues, but uh, you know I think what was key was uh, Shamari kind of letting him know that her gender role of being a mother and a wife she's not just a mother and a wife I'm saying just because I know some people are gonna be annoyed at me but we're gonna say it again okay she's not just a mother and wife what that means is her role doesn't just stay limited to those two functions those two functions are amazing and great by the way and they, they, they are not to be belittled being a mother and being a, 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 a wife they're huge tasks when you're dealing with a husband who's so successful but what I'm saying is Shamari has a history of being in her own musical group having control of her own life doing her own thing being free Okay, I'm free indeed. Oh, yes, I'm free indeed. You know what I mean? And so when she's now with the kids, what she feels is a sense of restriction. And Ron put it best when he said, you know what, it's like, and it said it's like, you know, it, you know it, it's like a lion in its cage. And that's the reality. She's a lion in the cage wanting to erupt and get out. And she can only do that if she's allowed space to do so but if she keeps getting weighed down with the kids eventually she's going to resent ron and leave him and now maybe not now but maybe in 10 years time or 15 years time when the kids are done she will want to leave and we'll be asking why does she leave so late in the marriage and the reason being is because she's been holding on uh, for a very long time onto the edge of the ledge okay okay so that's a key point so again i want to reiterate shamari is rebelling against the role she's playing because she feels restricted she feels she can do more she feels like her life is beyond the scope of just being a mother and again a wife and not again not a disrespect to mother or wives what we're saying is she has she believes that she can do more than just those two roles okay cool i've got no mad i'm not mad at it do you know what i mean I, I totally understand where she's coming from so yeah uh i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna leave it there listen Make sure you guys like and share and subscribe to this channel. I know it's a bit different. You're not usually see my face, but don't worry. We'll be back uh, soon at the end of the week. But yeah, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell button for notification of the uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked and stay loaded. We'll see you very soon.